believe that every woman can have the total package. Welcome home, beautiful, and thank you for watching and subscribing to the MDS Network. Today's show is our final segment in a series on how to become confident at something new. We know all women struggle with confidence, and this is about overcoming insecurities. So right now, I'm sure when I say the word insecurities, there's a lot of words that pop up in your head. And it's something that also causes this really uncomfortable feeling in our heart. It may be something that we just don't want anyone to know, but guess what? We all have insecurities and we don't want anybody to know that they exist. I recall when I first started my corporate job, this was a big deal and I'm a communicator, but I was so intimidated in meetings. And whenever I was called to speak, I just stuttered and sweated and was so awkward and fumbled all over myself. I don't know if any of you can relate. It took me some time, but I knew that I had to overcome my insecurities in order for me to be confident. So here are three steps that I use even today to help me be confident when I'm starting something new. Number one, have a pep talk. I mean, literally speak out loud your favorite words, motivation, your declarations. I get pumped listening to my Beats audio and I have my favorite song. It's actually a song by T. Hattie. It says, we don't fold under pressure. I use these motivation moments to speak out loud and to declare what I want to see. I'll tell you a story. One of my clients uh, played in the NFL and he was the highest paid at the time cornerback in the league. And he told me, I said, what? How did you get to this point where well, you're getting paid this much to do what you do? And he said, literally, I would put a sticky note on my mirror and I would say, I am the best corner in the league. I am the best corner of the league. And guess what? Because he gave himself that pep talk, he actually lived out what he spoke. Number two, build confidence through your track record. Now, a track record is extremely important when building a brand. It's about building on previous victories. Yeah, we wanna celebrate success, but what did it take to get there? Inventory, what do you do well? And I want you not only to start, many are very good starters, but it's about how do you finish strong? And that takes resilience. So when you've actually done the work and you put in the time, you showed your value, you delivered results, don't be afraid to ask for the testimonial. That's so important. People want to know that not only do you think you're great, but other people can vouch for you. I remember when I started my business, I created an encouragement folder. Literally, when people would give me a, an email, great job, appreciated that work, I would keep it just to make sure I stayed motivated and to remind myself that I had value and I had something to offer. Point number three, if you don't get this point, everything else I say is irrelevant. Believe in your value. I don't want you just to know it. And listen, your value can't be bought. It's not something you put on. It's not about your clothes or your bag or your shoes. Listen, funny story. I remember being at this concert and it was tons of people there. And I was walking down the aisle, you know at concerts, there's people that are there, they're eating, they're talking, there's guys trying to hook up with girls, you know, all that stuff's going on. And literally, this man was walking beside me. He didn't think I heard him. And he was talking about a woman that was there and she was dressed from head to toe. I mean, she had everything going on. And he said, look at her. She's got Prada shoes and a pay less walk. And I thought, ooh, ouch. See, you can't buy value. It's what you know about what you bring to the table. In your mind, know that your value is meaningful and it's gonna be what's gonna create everything else around you. So be confident in knowing that. No matter how successful you are or think you are, all of us, every last person struggles with some level of insecurities. And guess what? It keeps us humble. I want you to recognize them, 
but don't stay there. Build a fortitude and a strength to push past those insecurities and use them as a badge of courage. From the inside out, you'll wow us with your confidence. We've run out of time as always. I hate it when these shows seem so short, but the good news is there's more where this came from. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to my channel and click on the MDS logo. Also, I want you to comment, tell me what you've learned in this journey of unveiling confidence when you're starting something new. All of us can learn from you. And don't forget to visit our website at womeninthespotlight.com and join our community for free. Get access to exclusive podcast interviews, blogs, our exclusive Brand Leadership Institute membership, events, and so much more. Remember, never settle and don't you dare quit. Until next week, keep shining.